What's going on everyone? I just finished the Nerf Gallahorn repaint and I'm going to show you how I did it. Here we go. Let's fight our way into the war base. Once upon a time, this honking piece of plastic used to be white and orange. And I didn't like that, so I decided to do something about it. A lot of detail was lost in this Nerf color scheme, so I wanted to give it that original Destiny exotic makeover. Starting with the raised brand lettering, I used sandpaper to make the blaster more smooth. Afterwards, I take care of those screw holes. Using a two-part epoxy putty, I cover up the screws. This isn't necessary, but in my opinion, it's these small details that make these props really come to life. Once the putty is cured, I sanded it smooth and gave the rest of the blaster a light sanding too. This will help with painting later on. And now, it's time to mask. Using masking tape, I cover areas that I don't want painted. This particular project needed some tedious masking, but as always, I stay calm and take my time. A hobby knife can really be helpful here too. Once I finished masking, it was time to take the blaster outdoors. Hey everyone, voiceover Victor here, and I'm going to interrupt really quick to clarify one thing that I didn't document. So normally when I'm spray painting something, I'll have it either hanging on some sort of structure, or I'll have a nice area where it's laying on the ground. Unfortunately, I couldn't really do it this time around. So uh, what I ended up doing was just holding that, that whole Nerf gun and spray painting it from a distance. So I don't really recommend doing that, just given the scale of the Nerf Blaster, it's really big. So I really encourage you to be smarter than me and find a better way to do it. So yeah, try to find a way to have your props set in a safe area. I just couldn't do it this time around. Anyway, back to the footage. Whenever I spray paint, I make sure to use multiple light coats. Three to five is usually a good amount. And of course, be sure to be in a well-ventilated area whenever spray painting. And here's a Gallahorn painted all black. Once fully dry, I bring it back inside and onto my crafting table. Here you can already start to see the details revealing themselves. And now it's time for acrylic paint. Using a small brush, I gently dab on small bits of gold and silver. This will allow some of the base black to peek through. You don't need tons of paint, a little goes a long way. I continue this process throughout the whole blaster until I get most areas covered. I was being a bit sloppy, so at some point I do come back and tidy up any uneven edges that may have spilled over. And here's what we have so far. The next part is a bit tricky, but I just try my best. The Gallahorn has nice wood detailing along the bottom, so I try to recreate a wood grain pattern. I add some diluted brown acrylic paint and use a chip brush with a swiping motion. I then come back and use sandpaper to slightly restore the original base color, which was a light brown. I think the effect is pretty cool and it does an okay job at showing a wood pattern. Once that's finished, it's time to remove the masking tape to reveal the white details. I spent all that time masking away areas that I wanted to keep clean, but now it's time to dirty it up. 
Using a chip brush and diluted black paint, I dab and wipe. This is purely personal preference, and in my head, imperfect things are way more visually interesting than super clean pristine things. I want this blaster to look as if it was actually used in battle, rather than just sitting in safety within a cabinet. Once I'm satisfied with what I've done, I reattach the scope and I reattach the front grip. The final step is to add a final spray clear coat and this will complete the new paint job. I absolutely love the design of this Destiny Galahorn. From the overall color scheme with the black, gold, silver, white, and these accents of red, to the highly ornamental details found throughout the gun, this thing is an absolute stunner, and rightfully so, it deserves that title of exotic weapon that Destiny is known for. Guys, that's it for this video. If you liked this video, found it useful, please feel free to leave a comment below, or if you have any questions, I will do my absolute best to help you out along the way. And that's it for me today. This thing is getting really heavy to carry, so I think I'm going to have to end this video soon. And I will see you on the next one. And if you want to feel... I can't talk. Rocket launcher. Nope. I absolutely love the design of this Destiny Galahorn. From the overall paint scheme of the gold, black, silver, white, gold, did I say gold? Along with the high limit. And as always, with just a little bit of time and effort, I really have a hard time believing that you couldn't do this too. So I will see you guys on the next one.